We'll now open it up for questions for Coach Gottlieb. Coach, uh, first of all, did you sleep last night? <laughs> I'll just tell you this, Jen Brandon came to breakfast this morning and um, coaches and I were sitting around with a carafe of Starbucks coffee and she said, was that your dinner and your breakfast? <laughs> and I said, maybe. She said, you need to sleep. I said, I need to stay up so that you can do what you need to do on Monday night. So not a whole lot of sleep, but you, I mean, who wouldn't want to be staying up uh, during March? I'm very, very happy to be working. And what were, uh, you were there um, watching the game last night, what were, what's your kind of your initial, just your first initial impressions of, of what South Florida will offer? Um, I mean, they're terrific. Uh, I've known that kind of by following scores and seeing them play a little bit throughout the year, but now really focusing on them. Um, uh, they're a team that definitely feels like a top 25 team. Um, I know they may not have gotten in there in the polls, but clearly belong. Um, they're incredibly athletic. They play with a great pace. They have tremendous guard play. And I think the posts in some ways are underestimated. You know, you can't overlook them because they make big plays for them. So um, they're a terrific team that, that we'll have our hands full. Is there, a, is there a team you've played this year that you can compare them to? I knew that question was going to come. We were just talking about it. I would say closest would be Colorado because of the guard play. You know, not just the twins, but uh, Colorado has a pair of twins and then, uh, you know, Chucky and All-American with very, very solid post players and just the pace. I would say that's probably the closest. And then some of the actions that they run um, are a little bit uh, similar. And it's sort of like the Colorado actions, maybe with a little bit of the Oregon pace, want to get up and go. Betsy Blaney with the AP. Uh, what intangibles do you see as being important in this game, both from your team and from South Florida? I think um, Eliza kind of alluded to it. Um, the things that characterize Cal basketball need to rise to the forefront. Um, and that's our toughness and our poise um, and I think our great balance. Um, anytime you're playing a great team, you have to be you have to have those things. Um, they're going to hit shots. They're going to score some baskets. We need to make sure that we're sticking to our game plan and, and being tough and um, together no matter what. I think that's really important. Um, I think they're very physical, and I think people would probably say we're physical, so we have to make sure that we um, kind of remain um, poised and under control and stick to what the focus um, is. I think that's really important. Uh, this is um, sort of off track from the game, but if the uh, women's NCAA tournament was done on a one-on-one -on -one tournament between coaches of the schools, how do you think you'd do and who do you think would win? One-on-one -on -one in what? I mean, sports trivia or general trivia? I'm winning that basketball. thing. Oh, basketball. Um, I might win a shooting competition where there's no defense and no athleticism. That was my you know, Ivy League resume. Um, but you mean coaches across the country? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about, um, you know, former players. I mean, who's going to guard Don Staley? I don't know. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I'd have, to, I'd have to game plan. But I, I certainly don't, wouldn't put myself in the Final Four for that. <laughs> Uh, Lindsay, if you had a, a player like yesterday who's kind of on the verge of a triple-double or, you know, a, a record, would you, this is kind of a hypothetical question, would you run a play for them? Would you try to get them that or just kind of keep it in the flow of the game and maybe they get it, maybe they don't? This is March Madness and we are focused on winning the game and anything else, you know, is ancillary, a bonus. You know, our players don't think about that. So, um, no, I mean, again, hypothetically, if it's, February and you know um, you know someone's close to a record that that's a different occasion but it, it's not on our mind at all this time of year we want to win and the players are focused on winning and um, any any stats that are a byproduct of that is just good for Cal basketball from last uh, from last night or yesterday what would you say is an area of improvement that you need to you know work on well, obviously, you know, we, we didn't defend the three-point line as well as we would have liked to, and that's a credit to Fresno State. Um, they run terrific actions that are difficult to guard, um, and, and they, you know, everyone can shoot the three on the floor. So we obviously want to defend the three-point line better, and I think the way it will look against South Florida will be a little bit different because they're a different style, but uh, we want to make sure that we're not giving any, up any uncontested looks. Any other questions for Coach Gottlieb? 
Our coach, thank you very much. Thank you.